Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for mini tutorial series. My name is Alberto Cordero and today we're going to be working with alphas in Blender. All right, so I got this guy here from my last tutorial in sketching creatures in Blender. So I'm going to let me take off these textures and one thing you need to know about what are we going to be doing in this tutorial is that I'm going to be using some uh, textures that, to create the, uh, the details for for the skin. So in this case, you're going to be using multi-resolution. So things that you need to know about uh, multi-resolution. It's going to allow you to actually go and create high resolution details for any any model. Like if I go here, and let's say I'm going to uh, add another cube here and I'm going to add um, multi-resolution and I hit subdivide, it's going to act exactly like a uh, subdivision surface. So basically, he's going to subdivide the surface for you. But in this case, you can actually control the flow of the subdivision levels. So that's something really cool in this um, mo uh, modifier. All right. So let's subdivide a few times. We need a uh, very um, high resolution in this case to actually work with um, alphas. And I'm going to I'm going to go to school mode. And let's go here to texture and let me activate for a second this. All right. So when you go to texture, it's going to be empty. The thing you're going to need to do is just click this new button. And let's say it's going to be skin. All right. And you need to connect this texture right here with this one right there. All right. So you're going to select brush skin. And you're going to go here and let's go to the desk, to the desktop, because I have some alphas here. There you go. So I'm going to use some of these alphas that I have collected. Okay, this one. All right. Once you have this selected, remember, you need to have a good resolution. So the alpha is going to, is going to be good. You, you need to like uh, project those details in the surface. So as you, as you saw there, it's not good you still see that it's not completely clean. So we're going to add one more subdivision level. Let's go to five. We're probably going to need to go to six, but you see, yeah, we need to go to six. Let's go subdivide one more time. Remember, every time you subdivide, the model is getting heavier and heavier. You see, it's just 10 million polygons right there. All right, there you go. I think I got something really good here. I can, you can see it right there. Every time I made a click, it's going to use this to create a pattern on top of the surface that you're using, right? So a good way to actually create skin design for characters in this case, because that's what I'm using right here, is to use a uh, stencil. Stencil is going to allow you to actually visualize the texture on top of your screen and on top of your model. With you press shift and right click, you can actually scale the texture. If you press control, and right click you're going to rotate the, the texture in, 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 your, in the viewer. so you go here and you say okay uh, I'm gonna go down in um, the, the strand of the brush because I don't want to you know go that deep and I just go and you know let me deactivate this I'm just gonna sculpt so you can see that it's already affecting the surface right there but this brush is already I can see that it's not going to work in this case for this skin that I have here. Let me take like that. There you go. Okay. And let me maybe like this. So now you can, you can actually see how, the, how this works, right? You're probably going to need to deactivate symmetry, but for the tutorial, I'm just going to keep going, right? So you can see that you can actually move the texture around with the uh, right click, it's like a pen that you're doing in the, in the viewport, all right? So let's say that I want to um, change this texture because I just finished here in this piece, so I need to go and, uh, you know, change to another texture. But I don't want to lose this one, right? So I'm going to click here in this plus button, and I'm going to say this is going to be skin details number two, and I go here to texture again. Remember, every time you create this, it's going to create one more brush right here, right? So you go uh, skin to select, go to the desktop, alphas, 
and let's say I want to use like uh, this one right there. This is an image. It's on an alpha, but Blender it is going to translate that if you're actually using uh, a real alpha in this case, right? So let me. I'm using, like I said before, I'm using a real photograph, and you you can see that it's actually working. So let me see how can I. Uh, there you go. You right click and press shift, you can actually scale the texture. So you can see that I'm just using I'm rotating and there you go. So in this case your images have to be in a good resolution so you don't you're not gonna lose uh, details. If it's in good resolution, you're good to go. If you can see there, you're, it's actually affecting the the surface in this case. So you don't you don't actually need a black and white uh, picture to use as an alpha. You can actually use, like I said before, an actual image. If I go here and select this one, you're gonna see it right there. It's gonna uh, convert the uh, let me put it right there. The, the image in actual uh, almost black and white picture right there. There you go. Looking nice. So you can see that how you can actually use this to create high details for your character before your, you know, the baking process. Okay. So I just wanted to show you guys how to actually do this process and what kind of brushes you can use. I always use the the default um, the school draw. I, I always I don't know. It's just kind of like a because it's it's a, the the one that behaves better in this case with the surface using uh, this kind of uh, you know uh, images or alphas or whatever to actually school these details on top. Oh, one more thing, and I'm gonna select this one right there, and I'm gonna change it for let's go and let's say this one. All right. I'm not going to use a stencil in this case. I'm going to see, I'm going to use view plane, and I'm going to say random. And let me show you something here. So for here, not too heavy, and and I'm just going to paint. So what he's going to do is going to uh, place a random, a random position and rotation in this case, every time I I draw on top of the surface. So it's not going to be the same position. If you see there, you see there, you can actually notice that it's actually using the same position and same rotation. If I go random, you're gonna see that it's actually gonna fix that. You see it right there. Yes. So this is actually really good in case you wanna create uh, small details like pores, the kind of things in faces or whatever. Like this is not, I, I won't do it like this, but I'm just, you know, uh, demonstrating to you, showing to you how to actually use uh, this brush in this case. There you go. Mm, one more thing, and is that you can actually go here, where is it? Uh, stroke, drag dot, and you can press and move it around. You have, maybe you have to take render out and you can go and just place it wherever you want. And there we go, like that. Maybe random is fine. You can see how he's behaving. Okay, let me uh, go for another. Okay, let me use this. <laughs> it's kind of funny. If I go here and I'm gonna select, for example, dots, you can actually select, you know, more whatever you want here. Okay, so there's a. a I have to see here using uh, alphas, you have a lot of benefits in this case for creating high detail characters in, in Blender. So guys, 
thank you for watching I hope you uh, enjoyed the, the tutorial it's a really quick and fast tutorial how and showing you how to use alphas in blender and how to configure you know how to uh, connect the textures with your brushes in blender all right guys if you haven't subscribed already to the channel just go right now and subscribe to the channel it's gonna help me a lot it's gonna keep me you know creating more tutorials for you guys all right thank you and bye bye